What's up guys, Zuma Watch here bring us a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. Now today we are talking about our win against the San Francisco 49ers, even though we played them in Arizona because of their uh, mayor. Um, so, four in a row. Longest win streak since 2016, the year after our last trip to the playoffs. We are sole position as number one in our division and mic down a little bit we have sole possession of first place in our division we have a defense that's flying around the ball I mean what else can you say we have what should be the defensive rookie of the year and another guy that should just be in the conversation as much as Chase is Chase Young is almost by all means, the defensive rookie of the year. And Cam Curl, I mean, you got to put, he's not going to. And there's other guys that have outplayed him because they played the whole season. But he's a little baller out there, especially getting that pick six yesterday. And getting so many key tackles in yesterday and in all the games this season. Been absolutely amazing watching Bam Cam Curl uh, just flying around the ball. And the Predator Chase Young, oh man, it's our defense is so much fun to watch. But I'll get to that in a second. We have a candidate, well, or it should be candidate for coach of the year. Just because the record isn't flashy doesn't mean he shouldn't be in the lit, in the running. And that is Ron Rivera, with all the crap he's had to be put through this season, on and off the field, and he's still out there, you know, giving his 110 percent every single day, every single second, and he's putting it all into this team. And um, you can't ask for a greater effort of any person than what Ron Rivera is doing. And, um, you know, it's just a testament to where how much he loves this team and how much he loves the game. And he is putting it all out there for the team. And um, I don't know if he'll win, but I think he has a good shot. He should have a good shot. He deserves it more than anybody else, that's for sure. So, I mean, what, what an awesome game. You know, it's the first time since 1992 we won a football game without scoring an offensive touchdown. It's the first time since 2000, was it 6 or 2007, that we've had, no, 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 1997, that we had a fumble return and a interception return for a touchdown in the same game. What an absolute monstrous game. I mean, man, you know, Alex went down, it's not serious, and this is what really makes me mad. They don't want to make a story out of everything to make us look like we're we're out of it. So, Alex has a strange his calf, and that calf is in a leg that he's had 17 surgeries on. So they're like, "Oh no, this is bad for him." Like Mike, don't mess up Mike. And they're like, "Oh no, this is bad for him." And I'm like, "No, no, it's just the muscle is tight, and you can't loosen it. It happens to players in games, and it's like." And yes, there's a possibility it could worsen out and he might not play next week, but that's fine because Dwayne's going to be in. And as Washington fans, we need to put all of our faith in Dwayne that he can do enough to where our defense can handle it for us. That's where I've said all games need to be. Where the, where the offense does enough so the defense doesn't get worn out, but they can bail us out because, oh, they bail us out. Oh, pick sixes, fumble returns, fumbles, sacks, those stops on fourth down. I mean, you can't ask for any more out of our defense and what they're given and um, that front four whew. I mean when all, when all levels when all three levels of the defense are hitting on all cylinders you know it's going to be a good game we got the front the linebackers and the secondary when you got all three of those um, on the same page you know you're, you're going to have a successful team and that's what we have we have a mighty successful team and you got to love it you got to you really have to love it if you're a Washington fan and um you know, and you know, and it's a testament. And Ron Rivera hit on this this morning during his presser. Um, we're the Washington football team, and he said, "What is the team's identity?" He said, "It's the team." You know, everybody's playing for everybody else. There's nobody's taking, nobody's um, putting I or me in front of team. And you know, it, it is a testament. And you know, if we keep winning, I really don't give a crap what our name is going forward. If we're winning. Then I, it, it um I'm happy and you know, I don't mind the Washington football team stuff for the time being. I hope it doesn't last forever, but 
you know if it's for temporary and we're winning with it then I, I don't mind it at all but uh yeah Alex went down and you know, hope they can loosen up that calf muscle and if that's fine then he's gonna be all right nothing actually with the leg part that he's had so much issue with N from what I know none of that is has anything to do with what's going on with him Dwayne came out yesterday firing, absolutely doing good, handed it off and had a couple good laser passes in his first drive. Got a little sloppy in the later drives, really put our team at risk, but he also got our team out of our own end zone when um, San Francisco pinned us back there late in the game. Uh, defense, like I said, they bailed us out in first, third, second, first, oh wow, first, second, third, fourth down. They, you know, they were playing their tails off every single play. And we only allowed two touchdowns. It was our first touchdown that we've allowed since week five in the second half. But, you know, it was just a, a drive that caught us bad in. And um, Dustin Hopkins missed the first field goal, but you know, he made the rest of his field goals and the extra points. And, and you know, he looks like a, a prize kicker compared to Dan Bailey on the Vikings, if any of y'all saw that that came yesterday. Woof. But, you know, oh, man, I just love this team so much. Um, this has been... Even though 2015 was more secure season, like we knew we had a win, this season is just a little bit more fun. I don't know, maybe just because defense flying around is just a little bit more fun to watch than offense flying around, maybe because I'm a defensive guy at heart. But, um, yeah, I, I just love to see him, you know. And they're trying to say, well, Terry McLaurin's slow on production. Okay, well, um, he definitely got a little banged up yesterday. Like he was trying to play through something. And also... Um, you know, Alex couldn't put that pressure on his back foot when he was letting it go, and that was a couple passes to Terry that absolutely were botched, and then um, Dwayne just overshot Terry on a couple of throws. You know, we missed Gibson, Logan Thomas for a second straight week is coming out and making plays that we need him to make. Um, not always coming to an avail, but that, he does everything in his power, and that's absolutely awesome. Um, yes, they had a lot of miscues on offense. Just especially with the passing game, and that has part to do with Dwayne being thrown in there, having to throw under pressure, as well as Alex throwing under pressure, and Alex was not able to put pressure on that back foot due to the um, calf strain. But it was absolutely amazing effort. I love this team. I love the game. Uh, yeah, we're we're six and seven, top of the NFC East by a game. The Eagles have won. The Giant, the Cowboys won yesterday. The Giants lost. But you know what? That's fine. I don't think the Saints really tried against the Eagles. When we go against the Eagles, we'll know that this is a team that's ready to fight because there's nothing that they would want more. If they're out of it at that point, there's nothing they want more to spoil our season. And um, we can't let that happen. So the division is in our hands. We hold control of our destiny. And we are absolutely the team that nobody wants to face right now in the NFL. So let's keep that mentality going forward. I know if you're a Washington fan, just like me, you're super stoked about everything that's going on right now. And uh, yeah, you know, it's on to another week. On to Seattle at home. I hope you all have a great day. Make sure to stay safe. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that bell button if you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to comment down below your thoughts. And thank you so much for watching today's video. You know, let's keep this streak going. We're on a four-game winning streak. We just beat the Niners 23 to 17. So let's go. Watch your football fans. Let's go. All right, I'm Morris, and I'm out. Peace. And I just realized it was 23.15. My bad.